Hey y'all, it's getting colder outside and cozier inside. So how about we make a yummy, yummy comfort food? Growing up mac and cheese. I know, we've made mac and cheese before, but this one has got like a real, almost meaty, beefy, not beefy, what's the word? It's fantastic. And it's not made with nuts, and it's not made with a blender. It's a no blend cheese. I know, it's crazy. It's so good, it's so easy, it's so quick, it's so fast. It's gonna be your go-to in a pinch cheese. Let's begin. Hey y'all, how about today? Um, that we have found that we like. It's a little different than our normal cheese that we've made. Um, it has kind of a, I don't know, a different flavor profile to it. Um, it's super easy. It's things that you can get anywhere. It's no special ingredients whatsoever. And so to begin with, you're gonna take one can of the Thai Kitchen full fat, coconut milk, okay? So not the coconut milk that you get, like where the soy milk and the I don't know, oat milk and all that stuff is. So one can of this. To that, you're going to add a tablespoon of arrowroot powder or cornstarch. Arrowroot powder is probably the closest to cornstarch. And if you wanted it to be stretchy, you would use the tapioca flour starch, kind of an interchangeable word. Um, a tablespoon of lemon juice, three quarters of a cup of nutritional yeast. And in here I have a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now you're just gonna whisk this all up over medium heat. Um, and you're gonna let it cook. You're gonna bring it to a simmer and let it cook for five minutes. Now it's gonna get like really thick when you start and then it's gonna get like really thin. But then as it starts to thicken back up as that arrowroot powder is activated, it's going um, to thicken back up. So just kind of keep it whisk. You don't have to whisk it constantly, but pretty frequently for about five minutes. So see y'all soon. So after several minutes, it's gonna get thick. So it got really thin and it's gonna get thick and it gets thick pretty fast. So the way I like to eat it is to some fresh cooked pasta. Let's pour some right over the top of that. Look how yummy that looks, y'all. And then, over here right now. Give that a little toss. And to make it kind of grown up mac and cheese, I love steamed broccoli. So it's like broccoli and cheese, but with pasta. So some steamed broccoli. I need to add some more cheese, because can you have too much cheese? And then some nice sauteed red bell peppers. Go in. A little bit of Tony's, because y'all know I add Tony's to like everything. And then in the air fryer, I have some of my mushroom bacon going. Top it with some of that, and you get some extra saltiness. But there you have your grown up macaroni cheese that is plant based, 
whole food, oil free, and it's so good! So be sure to like and subscribe and share and be blessed, y'all. Bye!